I don't really have much to say. I just want to say thanks, um, you know, to uh, Strike Force and Scott Coker for re-signing me. And um, uh, I, I thought it was a great show tonight. Um, it feels feels it feels uh, feels pretty good. I feel a lot better. I've got a really good uh, sports therapist, you know, and he uh, he worked a couple points on it, and um, feels a lot better now. So. No, I didn't hurt during the fight. I just knew I was taking kicks, so I'm sure it'll I'm sure it'll tighten up, you know. But it's not too bad. Yeah. Well, he was eating a lot of punches, you know. So <clears throat> his thing was, uh, you know, he throws leg kicks, I throw punches, you know. So for all the leg kicks I was taking, he was taking, you know, more punches. And um, I started feeling it out and started checking the kicks and um, started, you know, trying to figure out what I was going to need to do to stop taking those kicks and. Uh, um, you know, I started feeling a little bit better about it towards the end of that second round. Did you see this fight ending on the ground? Sure, if he was going to take me down like that. I did see him taking me down from taking even too many punches and getting tired and, and rushing me for a takedown. And um, I, I, I did figure that I would be able to ladder up and, and finish an arm lock or triangle choke on a guy like that. Uh, last couple of fights with from KJ and now to Cyborg, you've kind of shown a, a different side in your uh, your approach as far as outside of the cage. You've shown uh, you know, there's trash talk with KJ, but once you got in there, you've shown respect for the guys afterwards. Do you feel that you've kind of matured as a professional athlete over the last you know last couple of fights? No, not at all. I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of things were just by coincidence. You know, I had funk with people. You know, we had we had something between us, and then that was you know that was that. I, I, I always had respect. I fought Robbie Lawler uh, a really long time ago. I had a lot of respect for him, and I still do. And I have a, a lot of respect for the way he fights. And you know what I mean? Just just fights I've had in the past. You know, I've always had respect for people just because I I've, I've got into it with a few and had. Uh, you know, I had the, uh, the issue with KJ Nunes because he was, you know, walking around like he won this fight, and I, the way I saw it was he didn't win that fight, and I never would have been raising my hand and all proud, you know, the way he was. And that was that, was that you know, and, and, and that's over with. And so, you know, sometimes you get into the, uh, some conflict, and that's happened to me more than once, and then, so now everybody feels as if I've gone and, and matured and grown up or something, but it's just, that's just the way fighting is, you know? If, if you're gonna make it personal, then it's really gonna be, um, it's really gonna be a personal thing. It's already personal, you know, the guy who wins is gonna go on and make more money. But like I said, I have a lot of respect for for guys that fight like that, that come out to fight. I know Robbie Lawler lost tonight, but he, you know, he comes out to fight for real, you know? And um, I have respect for fighters like that, like the guy that I fought tonight, um, you know, he wasn't trying to, he wasn't trying to score and, and run and, or anything like that. He was he was coming straight forward and trying to fight. And um, you know, I just I give I give a guy like that a lot of respect. That's why I had nice things to say about him. So it's not I don't think it has anything to do with about me growing older or anything like that. <laughs> I think that um, I think I put on a decent performance tonight. I think that Cyborg is a, you know, he's a really worthy opponent. I mean, people, it's not like this guy's some joke or something. You know, he came down on 170. He's probably the biggest guy I've ever fought at 170 pounds. You know, and he was strong, and uh, he's got, you know, really big legs, big feet, and he kicks really hard, harder than anybody else that I've ever had, you know, sparring, kickboxing with. This guy is real, you know, and I can tell that from watching this fight. It's not just from, you know, taking leg kicks. I knew, I knew that was coming, so. Um, I didn't, I didn't, it was nothing that I didn't already expect, you know, I expected what I got, and, um, you know, I'm happy with it, you know, I'm happy with um, surviving that fight. A little bit about potentially uh, facing Paul Daly in the future? Um, I'm just here to fight, I fight for Showtime, and um, I have a manager, so, you know, it's, it's whatever, I don't know what's going on, but they'll have, to work. they'll have to work that out. How do you see that fight possibly going if that fight was today? Uh, I see me putting punches on him, and um, you know, maybe him try to take me down too, and kick on the chokes, something like that. Um, or <clears throat> he could run me, he could run, or he could run from me, and I run him down, and then uh, I 
run him down, take him down, and beat him, beat him on the ground. I don't know. You know, I don't. I don't know. You can see. I can see that fight going a lot of different ways. You know, it's whatever. Uh, I'm not really impressed with with uh, Paul Daly. And, you know, as a mixed martial artist, he just got great stand up. Sure, he hits. He hits. You know, has good knockout power. Um, and, and you know, I wouldn't judge him from the Scott Smith fight. You know, that's a matchup for Scott Smith. He hits a little bit harder. And Scott Smith, you know, I know who Scott Smith is. You got to remember, um, I live in, you know, like Stockton and Lodi. He lives in El Grove, right down the road. This guy has never come down to work out with me um, in the past. You know, we start, we made our debut in the same day in like a Warriors Challenge. And this guy has never done anything to up his game by like coming to train and learning jujitsu, becoming more technical, having better sparring. Uh, I used to work out at Kickboxing Inc. Um, with Eric Regan. And and Chris Cruz and a bunch of uh, guys out there that, you know, are really good pro boxers. And he would come in once in a while and he would work out in the cardio kickboxing class. And I always knew, you know, that's not going to help him. This guy is. So he does, he does his tie bow or whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then, and then Paul Daly knocks him out. And everybody's like, oh, look at Paul Daly. He knocks this guy out quicker than you. And I'm like, well, pff. you know, I went out and made a show on Scott Smith because I knew that was the guy to do that to you. I think that if I'm going to be fighting Paul Daly, I'm going to have to get in there and we're going to see how that's going to be. But I'm not going to have any further comments towards that fight that I don't even know is or isn't going to happen. And if it is, I definitely, I think I'm, I'm done commenting on how I'm going to fight that guy. So I'm sure he knows what's going to happen to him if he steps in there to fight me. I'm sure that everybody that steps in there to fight me knows what I'm going to bring to the table. And uh, all they can really do is just try to talk, down talk me and, and minimize what I've done in the past and what, what I might do to them, you know, so. Uh, Nick, quick, quick question. I know we've probably talked about mayhem way too much right here, probably sick of it. Um, and I think it's ridiculous that he would think that you should go up, you're the champ. What if he says, he finally meets at 178, just for the fans to shut him up, would you be interested in that fight? I don't think that'll be a title fight, you know? I'm fighting for a title, so if I'm, I'm not gonna be fighting for the title, then like I said, you know, they can go ahead and work that out. I already said I'll fight, I'll fight at 185 pounds. I don't care. I'll fight at that weight, you know, can, can you know, as far as I'm concerned, I don't, you know, I don't care, I'll fight anybody, but you know, can you make it worth my while, please? You know, this is, you know, this is hard stuff, it's not easy. I train hard every day. I work more than seven, six, eight hour days every day. And they're harder than your eight hour days of holding a camera or, you know, <laughs> going to work. And it's different, you know? You can't do this what I do, you know? So I think that, you know, money talks. Oh, you know? that's funny. <laughs> or look at, or look at, I can just, you know, fight at 170 and defend the title, right? You know? Yeah. I mean, if I'm going to give myself extra problems, you know, can we, you know? We did a, a fan drawing uh, on our website uh, for uh, many different categories. Fabricio had submission of the year, we had knockout of the year, we had all these great, and we had over 100,000 fans vote uh, for their favorite fighter and their uh, favorite fight, and Nick Diaz won both of them. And uh, I'd like to bring those uh, awards up for Nick Diaz Strike Force Fighter of the Year.